The reason that you didn't know this, and so many of you in this video that's been seen 23 million times didn't know that this is true, is because technically it's not. The whole goal of your menstrual period is to get the lining of the inside of your uterus to the outside. And for that to happen, your cervix does have to dilate slightly to let that tissue pass. But I have looked at a lot of cervixes during this time, and I would say it's usually just a little bit, not even up to a whole centimeter, and definitely not up to five centimeters as I'm seeing in the comments of this video. But this typically doesn't cause pain for patients. What's causing pain is that the uterine muscle is contracting. Now that uterine muscle contraction can cause your cervix to dilate a little bit, but it's not actually the dilation that's causing you pain. It's that those muscles are contracting. Now the cervix is kind of a weird part of our body and weird between all of us because what one person feels isn't what the other person feels. But if you have painful periods, it's not from your cervix dilating, it's from your uterine muscle. That's why the medicines that we use during painful periods like Midol, hormonal medications, IUDs, all of those work on the muscle of the uterus versus your actual cervix.